You can't triple stamp a double stamp. You can't triple stamp a double stamp, Lord. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. What is up, AMS and the YouTube universe? This is Mr. Baker, and I am back once again, bang, with another episode of Every Day Teacher. And I'm very excited today for my guest because I've been trying for about a month to get this person in here, and they have been elusive, you know, saying that people have the flu or people are busy or whatnot, but I finally got them. And I'm, as I said before, very, very excited. So, my blue folder is back. Don't have to read questions off my phone. And for our weekly viewers, these questions are a little different than normal. Yeah, after spring break, we're trying to land this plane called 2017-18. And so I figured I would change up our format just a little bit. So our guest today is going to be a first with the new format. I'm sure they're very excited. So without further ado, I would like to welcome today to Everyday Teacher, Miss Katie Taylor. That's right. Still keeping up with the new to Argyle ISD teachers. We got a couple more, and I think some of them think maybe I'm not going to find them. I think this he one will. thought maybe, he hey, uh, <laughs> he's not going to ask me anymore because my kid had the flu, then I had the flu, and then <laughs> spring break, and so she thought, Phew, Nope. So there's like two or three of y'all still out there. I'm coming. All right, Miss Taylor, are you familiar with this show? Yes. Well, that doesn't really matter because but it's a little different. you mixed it up on us. Well, not really. It's pretty much going to be the same, but there's a few kinks. So here we go. Classic question. What's the first thing you do or think of when you get up in the morning? Are the lunches ready and our clothes laid out? Oh, so, so with the kids, it kind of takes a long time to get everyone ready. So mm -hmm. do I have an extra five minutes to snooze or 10 minutes to snooze or do I have to get up? Get Got you. Done? So did you get everything done the night before or not? Pretty much. Half and half. Got you. <laughs> Classic. What's your favorite thing to do outside of school? Um, I do like to just be mom, play with my kids and play outside and just kind of hang out and have fun. So stay home. Well, yeah, yeah, nice. I'm a homebody. But we like to travel too, we like to go places. Okay, when you can. Because mm -hmm. you know, teachers, you know, we got all this free time, you know, spring breaks and summer and Christmas, you know, when everybody else is working, you know, we... All right, <laughs> so in the morning, are you grabbing a breakfast burrito or a biscuit? Mmm, breakfast burrito. Oh yeah, what kind, yes. what's in it? Bacon, eggs, cheese, and salsa. Salsa. Hot salsa? Medium. Mild? Medium? All right. Actually, there's a specific one. What? Mateo's. Mateo's? Yes. Where's that from? Where do you get it? Kroger. Oh, Kroger has it. In a jar? Yeah. Lots of garlic. It's really good. It's Mateo's, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, for some of you that don't know, that's also called Kroger's with an S. <laughs> Kroger's. So if you're wondering where you could get this, Kroger or Kroger's. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. Yeah. You didn't say it with an S. I know. That's why I said I'm learning. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you could, a gift, could get a gift card to anywhere, where would it be? Anywhere. Amazon. Ah. I'm an Amazon Prime. That is pretty nice. You can get anything, anything. on Amazon now. We've I, ordered dog food from Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. I, I used to do groceries from mm -hmm. Amazon. It's weird. They just, they give you a lot of the ice packs and stuff. And the dry ice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, a lot of waste. So personal preference you know if you want it go for it <laughs> what's your favorite movie oh there's so many you really put me on the spot on this one um, um okay so it's kind of an old one mm -hmm. but it was called what was it so it's your favorite movie but you don't know what it's called no well see i'm thinking of an old one because okay. i don't really watch a lot of movies now except for princess movies so i'm gonna go with dumb and dumber ah oh. <laughs> uh funny story i went to see dumb and dumber at the theater with my brother and his then girlfriend back when i was in high school and couldn't drive um i laughed so hard at that movie at one point well it was funny because there's a part of the movie where a guy has some issues in the bathroom and <laughs> Everyone was laughing so hard. I was already crying. I was laughing so hard. But then when the theater got totally silent, my brother, who was there trying to look cool with his girlfriend, went, <laughs> I lost it, man. I lost it. Shout it's out to one. my brother, Jeremy. And yeah, that girl. So what's your favorite music? I like country music. 
the, like, like new country well, that people say ain't country or I, well I really like everything but I like the it's Texas country oh, okay like George Strait um kind of yes is he from Texas I just yes. threw a name I don't yeah know. he is but it's more like um like Aaron Watson what about or, Lyle Lovett well I like classic country too oh so that's classic maybe well I don't like country but one guy at one time said when I was still in Mississippi, but moving to Texas, he's like, hey, you need to listen to country music. And I said, no, nah, bruh. <laughs> and then he said, no, nah, take this. And it was Lyle Lovett and uh, Guy Clark. Yeah. I think, I, I don't listen to them as much, but like all the classics, Willie, Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Those. <laughs> Sound like some mechanics. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to cook? Desserts. Any I like dessert. to bake. Okay. I like cookies. I like to bake cookies, um, cake. Do you cupcakes. make your cookies crispy or moist? Mmm, crispy on the bottom and moist on the inside. How do you do that? I don't know. Oh. A, a baker's it just, rag? It just, oh, you like, so the like you take process. them off on the cooling, yes. yeah. Yeah, I have learned one thing about being a baker, and it's use a cooling rack with cookies. Yes. And it, cakes. it was a game changer. Yeah, to get cakes out of the cake pan, too, yeah. if you cool it well. Like any kind of dessert is good. If you're still watching, try baking something this weekend. <laughs> With the cooling rack. Yes, go buy one of those. Okay, you teach sixth grade math, correct? And seventh. Yeah, but mostly but six. But mostly six. Right. Are you smarter than a sixth grader? Yes. Yes? Maybe. You're confident? Maybe. Well, let's see how confident she is. We have five questions here <laughs> that a sixth grader should be able to answer. Running the gambit between math, science, history, and whatever other subject is left. What is it? History, language math, arts. oh, English, yeah, that's right. They call it language arts. All right, the Statue of Liberty holds her torch in which hand? The right. Correct. What tool is used to me measure air pressure? Barometer. Correct. By the way, kids, you'll hear this word misused many, many times on the news or sports when they say this fella is a barometer for their team. The, the guy doesn't measure air pressure. I'm sorry. I mean, if you want to use that guy as a gauge for how the team's going, great. Say a gauge. But barometer, it's idiotic. <laughs> Sportscasters out there, if you're watching, because I know everybody watches this, get your game up. Which of the 50 states only borders one other state? I'll give you three choices. Okay. California, Washington, or Maine? One other state? Only one other state. Maine. Maine? Correct. What? Did you try to change your answer? Well, you were making me nervous. So. Right, that's the process. <laughs> three out of five so far, so three for Maybe three. Maybe we should stop and No, move we're on. good. Okay. The words bang and beep are examples of what literary device? Ooh. Can't give you choices here. Oh, like first letter? That's what it starts first with. First letter? You just said the first letter. Oh. Yeah. Onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia Woo! is correct. <laughs> and finally, people, if she misses this, she loses her job. What is the square root of 64? Eight. Yes. Keep my job? Well, I didn't put the answer down, so oh. I'll take your word for it. You're a math teacher. Eight times eight is wow. 64. People, she's at least as smart as a sixth grader. That's five for five. So if you're coming on this show later on in the year, you better brush up on your sixth grade knowledge. <laughs> All right, fizzy drink. Is it a Coke, a pop, or a soda? A Coke. Nice. But it might be something else. Yeah, but so what's your favorite kind of Coke? Coke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cowboys or no? Nah? Well, see, I've been waiting on this question. Good, I thought about not asking it. Here's the reason why, is that I'm a Cowboys fan True and true, but it's an OSU Cowboys fan. That's like the other person. Who That's was like, that? Who was that that did that? Oh, I don't know. It wasn't Eason because she's, she's a Sooner. She's a Sooner. Yeah, mm, I think, was it Ray? Was it Miss Ray? I don't know. I missed that one. <sighs> Such a horrible host. But. People don't watch this far anyway, so it's okay. I There's do. like four people watching right now. <laughs> well, then they know that I'm an OSU fan. But I do like the Dallas Cowboys. Too. Okay, because they're right. They're because they, it's like. I grew up in Oklahoma and there wasn't a professional team there, so this was the closest one to it. That makes sense. Car, truck, or van, if you had your choice and you didn't have to worry about transporting kids and all that stuff. If you wanted to drive anything. A truck, but I'm not very good at it. At a truck? Mm-mm. A no. normal truck? Well, it's just I'm not really good at parking it. Oh, because My husband larger. drives a truck yeah. and I'll drive it, but I park in like the way far back. You can't back it in? 
I, I, I'm working on it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not very good at the big, even though I have an SUV, it's just, yeah, it's different. It's different. It's different. But I do like to drive a truck. Fast or slow? The speed limit? <laughs> Average. <laughs> Average. Hot or cold? Oh, I thought you were talking about fast or slow is with the truck. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. If I put that question right there, my guests would think, are they talking about the truck? But then afterwards they'd think, wait, you're really not talking about really that? Not. So it's almost like I thought out where these questions go. Impressive. Yeah. It's almost like that. I'm going to say hot. All right. I figured you might say warm. Now, you know, normally in the past like couple of episodes, I've gotten some background on some people and thrown out some questions. They're like, well, how do you know that? But your husband's uh, email address is not in our database. So I didn't really want to call him and be like, hey, um, your wife's like assistant principal. Uh, but I did, I did do keep asking him. I said, did you uh, <laughs> did you get a call? And he said, he no. Like, Why are you asking <laughs> this? So I did do a little digging on social media as much as I could. Uh, and this could be totally off, but what's your favorite shade of lipstick? Lip sense? Yeah. Lipstick? Um, what? Lip sense? Lip sense? It's a brand. Is it like a chameleon? Does that, it change? Like, it, it stays senses on. what you want? It stays on like a long time. So it you doesn't a wipe off. Lipstick aficionado? No. Oh. No. My sister is, so. Ah, maybe that's why you like all those yes, lipstick pages. Yes, that's why I like it, because my sister sells it. <laughs> Lip sense. So, can you get that at Kroger's? Nope. Oh. Not yet. Is it special order? Mm, I guess. <laughs> Some boutiques, I think, sell it, or oh, hers. Boutiques. It's like one of those, like, like, things that you sell, you know, like, face stuff and... Lipstick. One of those things that you sell, like yeah. cosmetics? Yes. Oh, like Mary Kay? L yes, oh, like man. that people sell it. I'm missing out on a ton of sponsorships. I know. What's the worst job you've ever had? So, probably working in the concession stand when I was in high school. I worked in a small town um, racetrack. They had like a little uh -huh. dirt racetrack. Oh, and on not Saturday the gas station? No, oh, okay. no, no, like a, like a boxcar okay. kind of race, like a yeah. local race. Dirt track? Thing. Dirt track. There uh -huh. we go. And um, my aunt was like in charge of the fairground, so she got me a job at the concession stand every Saturday night. I bet all the people ordering food were patient. No. And they hadn't, didn't have an air conditioner, and it was hot, hot, because it was in the summer. Could and you drink all the Coke you wanted? Um, yeah, you could. You could, you could, you could dig into the. Should have been good though, food, because you picked hot over cold. Well, no, not like that. Not when I'm working. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So, following up with that, if you weren't a teacher, what would you be? Obviously, not, not a dirt track concession hmm, stand manager. Not that. Um, I actually, I would like to be a photographer. Now, I'm not like I don't have the talent of a photographer, but I think it would be a really fun job. I don't know. No knock on any photographers that I may or may not know, but it seems like that's a profession that I'm not going to say it's easy to get into, but you know, you buy a nice camera, you do trial and error, you know, yeah. you take pictures that here and there true. and then word of mouth. Yeah. That'd be a nice be little fun. profession to go along with teaching, right? Yeah. A little since, side gig. Yeah. Since, you know, we just babysit kids all day and then we get the summers off. I could do it in that's the summer. we do. All right. Last question as always. My name is Katie Taylor and I am a... Eagle. Eagle. I'm excited to be an eagle now. Oh, that's right, because yeah, I didn't cause ask the question first... about, you know, what's your favorite part about you Argyle ISD? You didn't. I cut you off. That's okay. So, so I'm you're excited so to be here. Why? Um, the people are the staff, the kids, the family, the community. Like I just we love it here. All so, of it. All of it. I'm Good. so excited. Well we're glad to have you. Thankful that you can be uh, not only at our school teaching math and leading the sixth grade team. Yeah. But also to be on everyday teacher. Thank you. Thank Up, you. Down. Wait. You know I have to do my question. No, I don't because the guy last week or two weeks ago didn't. Well, I tried to okay. do some research All right. and I didn't um, accomplish much. But I do know that you have a new baby at home. Correct. One month yesterday. One month? Well, old. when this thing airs two days ago. So, how many times a night do you get up with the baby? Um, I don't take care of the baby. That's my wife's job. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, have okay. you changed a diaper? Man, I I was the first one to change my daughter Hannah's diaper when mm -hmm. she was a baby. I was the first one to change Hope's diaper. I'm a diaper changing machine, people. Uh, I'm in and out. I set it up. <laughs> when the baby gets up and I know I got a feeder, I go ahead and have a diaper ready and a wipe ready. So when I'm done feeding her, I burp her, pop, pop, pop. Then we go and we change the diapers with plop. 
I swallow her up, and then we're back, and we're going to sleep. So to answer Super your, dead. yeah, well, I like it. Um, I'm like you. I like staying at home. So you know, spring break with a kid and 2K18 is great. You know, kids sleeping, I'm on the sticks. But, um, <laughs> but to really answer your question, see, like I'll go home and take a quick nap, and then between the hours of like five and seven, I'll transition into the parent on duty and let my wife transition out and go to bed, and she'll sleep from like nice. anywhere between seven, eight all the way up until my shift typically runs from like 7 to 1 a.m. So at 1 a.m. we change guards, I go to sleep, she'll get up with the kid like twice a night. So I'd say when I get home from work about three to four times. That's nice. Yeah, that was a long answer. Sorry people, the two of you that are still <laughs> it watching. It was worth the question. All right, it was. Oh man, the softer side of the host. Oh, Lovely. made it. All right, kids, adults, Big feet, foots, Sasquatches, if you're still watching, thank you for joining us this week. Tune in again next week for another new teacher. And if you're like the two people left, you know who you might be. Uh, also, tune in every day. You. Yeah, look every day at our YouTube site because we could have something uh, tomorrow or the next day. Who knows? We're just always figuring stuff out and putting it up there. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. If you hadn't hit the like button, I don't care if you do or not. I'm not that type of guy. But if you do, thanks. Uh, otherwise... We're done. You want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> That's uh, all we got. <laughs>